impressions is like people that have an ear for music. You know, okay. Tone, inflection, uh, rhythm, cadence, and everybody's voice is a note. So, like, you know, you think about Shaq. Shaq is breathy and bassy. Mm. That's like, I score 2018, I'm a dominate. If I score 2018, that's barbecue chicken. Inside, outside, you got to score 2018. <laughs> you, you did know, the eyes like, and everything. Yeah. So, Shaq is real, you know, it's Hover, Jay Z, hey, bite, no. <laughs> Hover's, you know, that register, you know what I mean? So, yeah, it's just honing in on people's tones and inflections. <laughs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. I want to take you back to Mad TV for a second. Like, when you were doing the, those episodes, yeah. did you feel the uh, competitiveness uh, with SNL? Did you even feel that? Or you nah. were just focused on the, you know what I mean? Because everybody from the outside looking in, yeah. they were like, this is a uh, You know, listen, uh, the younger generation, like, I'll have people come up to me at my shows and go, man, I grew up on you. Which makes me feel old, but <laughs> <laughs> that means when they were kids, we were their show. Their parents belonged to SNL. Mm -hmm. But the reality is, it, it, no matter how many people said, and even people that watch SNL would go, man, y'all are so much funnier than them. Yeah, but you know what the reality is? SNL is the NFL. And we're the CFL. Mm -hmm. You can't compete with the big boys. You know, they, they was the bully on the block. You know, they, they were so big, if they did a skit, and they wanted to mock a McDonald's, like a do a, a, a skit about McDonald's. Mm -hmm. They actually had the means to use McDonald's, the logo, mm. the arch. Really? Right. They could say McDonald's. Wow. We would have to go Nick Donald's. <laughs> <laughs> we have to use an N. Right. You know, so, so they McDonald's. You know, yeah, or some <laughs> shit like that. Yeah. So they're, they're, as much as we enjoyed the compliment, and we knew we were funny at them for mm -hmm. like a good six year stretch we were beating them in terms of like you know Emmy noms and all that but they that's that's for I'm you curious. to even say that that that's mm. big for you to even say that though yeah uh, uh, that I when I, and I'm just staying on no, that for ahead. a second 198 episodes yeah. this is what they're saying that you appeared in mm -hmm. you played a major part in that like when people look back in history and they look at that, it'll never, it ain't gonna just go away. And I can't believe that you hadn't been in more stuff. And Living Color, was that in the midst of that or after that? We were after that. Yeah, I was yeah, after yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. this, all this stuff is, you know what I mean? These yeah. are these are things where really, I feel like you 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 test in the water a lot of times, like doing things that had yeah. never been done before, right? Yeah, I mean, well, and also, you know, that golden era of the 90s before mm -hmm. all this, wokeness and political correctness and this moisture age we live in, we could get away with all, we got away with shit that we, you couldn't get away with today. Mm -hmm. That's right. You just couldn't get away with mm -hmm. today. So we, you know, we were like uncut cocaine. We was pure. Hadn't been stepped on, mixed, nothing. Now today everything is diluted. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, um, okay, so I, when I was doing another research, I know that you are, I want to say almost the king at um, imitating other people's voices and stuff like that. Um, out of all the people that you do, who was the most difficult for you to really try to imitate? You know, for a long time, and I've always been a huge fan, still am to this day, of uh, one of my favorite TV shows of all time, Sopranos. Mm. So I would always watch and I would want to do a James Gandolfini, Tony Soprano, and I could never get it. But then one day I was watching this dude who was on America's Got Talent. And he was constantly posting uh, him either doing Paulie Gaultieri from mm -hmm. The Sopranos or James Gandolfini. And I'm watching and one day I got it. I just I honed in to what he was doing. And when I caught the note, I ended up doing it. And after practicing, practicing it for a little bit, I ended up doing it better than him. You know, I want to wow. hear it. I want to hear wow. it. You know, when he talks, uh, I'm talking about my sister Jadish. Uncle Judah Johnny Shaq. So I was, you know, it's the ish. So when I would hear the ish, I started just practicing the ish. And next thing you know, it's like, you know, all the guys are going down to the bottom end with an ish. <laughs> to get the fuck about I got with the good gravy and the money and the bosh. So I said, and then once I, I just, it. I it. And, that, and that made me get it. So yeah, oh, I, wow. I was proud to get that one because I was such a fan and I wanted to get it. How long did it take you to get it? Uh, about, about a couple of weeks. Oh really? Of just and that was the longest. He good. He good. Yeah, he good. Yeah, he good. Really? Yeah, he good. Yeah. So you get them like that when Do you that, try. That Jay Z yeah, one, the one I, I like. That, uh, impressions is like people that have an ear for music. You know, okay. Tone, inflection, uh, rhythm, cadence, and everybody's voice is a note. 
So like you know you think about Shaq. Shaq is breathy and bassy. Mm-hmm. That's like I score twenty eight ten. I'm a dominate. If I score twenty eight ten, that's barbecue chicken. Inside outside, you guys go twenty eight ten. You did the eyes and everything. Yeah. So Shaq is real. You know it's Hova Jay Z. Hey, bite no. <laughs> Hova, you know that register. You know what I mean? So yeah, it's just lo- honing in on people's tones and inflections. But accent. So can you do a Jamaican accent, like a true oh, Jamaican, Jamaican accent? My Jamaican accent is terrible. <laughs> is she terrible. Like true Jamaican accent. Uh, Oh, no, I want the man go down there. No. <laughs> but you know what, my, you know what to, to somebody who's not a true Jamaican, right. that sounds authentic it sounds as fuck. Right. But to a real Jamaican, <laughs> they know. They know. That's us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. When you watch the movie, she say, he's not Jamaican. I'm you like, know, I'm going to tell you something, which is so funny. I don't know if you've ever seen it, but if you've never seen it, watch it, and you'll know what I mean. Which one? Now, Denzel Washington is one of our greatest actors uh-huh. of all time. Did you ever see The Mighty Quinn? Long time ago, it was years. Man, I haven't watched that Jamaican in a while. Act. And this is why I have such a respect, and you have to have such a respect for certain aspects of the game. Because mm-hmm. when I say everything don't translate, translate, like Denzel is one of the greatest actors of all time. I can name a lot of great actors, but doing an accent is one of the hardest, hardest things thing. to do. And you would think as great as an actor as Denzel is, he could pull that off. His Jamaican accent is so terrible. At one point in certain scenes, his attempt to do a Jamaican accent sounds like an attempt, and he just bleeds right into losing it. But I, most I, of them are terrible. Most actors, when they do Jamaican accents, are terrible. The ones that I find that are really, really good, I have to research, and they usually always have like a mother who is Jamaican or somebody, right. you know, so they've been already talking like that. Right. I noticed they put a lot of emphasis on Mon. <laughs> yeah. The Mon go downstairs, Mon. You know, but <laughs> yeah. Denzel was like, what I'm going to do, and then I'm going to go upstairs. <laughs> I mean, it just, it would start out horrible and then turn American. You got to see it. I mean, I it's got, just bad. I got to watch it again. And, really and I love attention. me some Denzel like everybody else, and he is one of the greatest actors of all time. Yes, My favorite. Is. But I was like, damn, they didn't hire a dialect coach mm-hmm. or somebody that could pull him to the side? Because yeah. it's terrible. It's very Because what's her name? Just got an Oscar the other day, Ooh. too, um, for the first time. Oh, my God. What's black actress? Name of the best black actress. You Angela Bassett. Just yeah. got her first Oscar. I saw it the I, other was day. That, was that the Oscar? Was that the first one? Was, was it the Oscar, Oscar or was it Grant? No, Something. it was the Oscar. But right, yeah. Who was the Oscars on? I, that's what I was wondering, but I saw it posted the other day really? that she just I, yeah, I got her. Too. You yeah, saw yeah, it, yeah. and that she got but her it wasn't first. Like during, I didn't see it on TV. I didn't see it. I saw it on social media. Yeah, it was like you got to be uh, careful. They slid her a secret award, <laughs> and I'm like, dang. Yeah, is Eddie Murphy still? Have he still never gotten nothing, no, nothing from no, the, no. no. And well, that's I, terrible. I, something you said earlier was so riveting. The fact of we can't wait on people to honor us, bro. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.